good morning or whatever time of the day it is where you are at in a game you have the players you have the bystanders and you have the coach let's talk about the players for a while let's drink as a player you are the one who went through rigorous training you are the one who had sleepless nights you are the one who had the aches and pains in those muscles and joints you are the one who were taught how to play the game and even while on that field any player can tell you that they are still learning in the process you will also make mistakes so it is a learning process learning never stops Second, in football, the aim of your game is to get that ball into the net at whatever cost it is to win the game. And so as a player, it doesn't matter what game you are playing, the aim is to win. That is the aim of the game. You are in control. Once you get that ball, at that point in time, you are the one who is in control of the game. So whatever you do with that ball determines the outcome of the game. And remember, mistakes can be made. As a player, your duty is to listen to your coach. No, no let's talk about the bystanders. The bystanders are the ones who are on the sideline or say in the audience. As a bystander, you have a duty to play in the game. One of your duty is to motivate your players, to encourage your players so that they can win that game. That is it. And sometimes even when they lose the game, it is your duty as well to have that sportsmanship to still encourage them to say, hey, there's another game. When you play the game again, you'll get it right. In life, we have bystanders in our life. These bystanders are the persons who want to tell us what to do, when to do, and how to do. The thing is, when you are on the sideline versus when you are on the field, have the wider view of the field so you can see exactly where the other players are. You can see where the man supposed to move the ball versus where he should not As a move player, the ball. all you can see is your ball and that net to score in and that is what you need to concentrate on your coach is there your coach is also able to see the entire field where you should put the ball from where not to and so if you realize that in any game once the game is in play the coach tends to be silent as he knows that that you as a player need to concentrate on the game in order to win. trust you enough to play your game when he sees any mistakes he will wait until half time quarter time or whatever time it is to make the necessary correction to 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 to, to reconstruct and to figure out a game plan and that is between you and your coach what happens with the bystanders? The bystanders are the ones who are shouting or saying, move the ball here, move the ball there. It gets very confusing having so many persons talking to you. You are playing your own game. The bystanders in your life will always have something to say. And that is their job. Your coach is there as well. And many times during play, the coach is silent. But your coach also to motivate you. So take full control of your game. Block out your bystanders, the ones in your life who wants to tell you what to do, when to do, and how to do. Play your game. And remember, as the scripture says, the race is not for the swift, but those who will endure to the end.